Hey guys, Sock here from Sock e Tech, and in today's video, we will be doing a full comparison between the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra and the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Now, both of these smartphones are the current flagship offerings from Apple and Samsung, the biggest rivals in the world. So people are wondering which smartphone is in fact better. Now, in this video, we are going to be doing a full side-by-side -side comparison of every aspect of these smartphones and towards the end we are going to give you a crystal clear response as to which one is better so first let's dive in and start with the build and design all right so both of these smartphones do have a similar build quality so on the front and on the back they're both uh, built with glass as you can see we have matte finish on the rear matte finish on the rear all this is glass construction and then we flip them over we have glass on the front that's gorilla glass victus and that is apple's own glass that's also super high quality so overall when it comes to the build quality they both have a high-end build and they both feel like a million dollars when you hold them in your hands now when you move on to the frontal design is where things Differ. You can see that both of these phones do have massive frontal displays. The S21 has a large and tall display. You got tiny bezels on all corners. The iPhone also has a large display. The bezels on the sides are a little bit thicker than the S21 Ultra, but overall the S21 Ultra simply looks like the more futuristic phone, especially because it does not have uh, this notch that the iPhone has on the top. As you can see, we have a nice little hole cut out that simply is going to look better when you're watching movies or even when you're just staring at the phone. Now, when you do flip the phones to their back, uh, the design does become a little bit more subjective. Uh, some people might prefer this one. Some people might prefer this one. I still like this one better. So overall, in the design language, I'm going to give the win to the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. I do think it looks better it looks more like a 21st century phone now this notch here i think it has to go at some point for the iphones to compete with the s21 when it comes to design now both phones do have water resistance with the exact same water resistance rating of ip68 both phones can easily handle a rainy day you can even wash them with clean water which will cause no problem now one more thing both phones do offer high quality stereo speakers that produce a loud, deep, and rich sound, which is perfect for listening to any type of media. And of course, neither one of these phones do have a headphone jack. Now to summarize in this category, so far, I think we have an equal overall value from both smartphones. The only thing is, I think the S21 Ultra does have a more futuristic design. Now let's move on and talk about the processor, memory, and storage. All right, so real quick, both of these phones do start at $1,200 with a base storage of 120 gigabytes. Now, the iPhone does have a powerful A14 Bionic processor uh, with 6 gigabytes of RAM, and the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra has a powerful Snapdragon 888 processor with 12 gigabytes of RAM. And of course, both phones do support 5G capability. Now the S21 series does give up the micro SD expansion option, so neither one of these phones actually have an expandable storage option. If you were to move on and look at the benchmarks, let me just pull up the benchmark scores over here. So we have a Geekbench benchmark score, let me go to the history, okay? Now this one has a single core of 1101 and a multi-core of 3451. Now this one right over here, if I go to my history, if I look at the CPU, tap on the latest one, we have 1601 and 4288. The iPhone 12 Pro Max is the faster phone. It simply has more raw horsepower than the S21 Ultra. Now that does not mean the S21 Ultra is a slow phone. It is super fast, but this guy is simply going to be faster. Now in this department of processor and storage, the iPhone takes the lead simply because it has a faster processor. Everything else, the price, the storage is all the same. Now let's move on and talk about the dimensions real quick. Now I do want to let you know that it's gonna be a little bit easier to hold the S21 in your hands because it is a narrower phone, okay? Now this one right over here is slightly wider. This is 78.1 
and that is 75.6 that's millimeters this phone is a little bit taller because the display is going to be larger but both phones actually weigh almost the same the iphone is 228 grams and this one is 227 grams i don't think this is a huge category to consider so let's move on and talk about to a much more important category the display all right so the iphone has a 6.7 inch super retina display the resolution is 2778 by 1284 and we have 458 pixels per inches the s21 has a 6.8 inch display a resolution of 1440 by 3200 with 515 pixels per inches both smartphones support hdr10 where available for superior video viewing quality all right so both of these smartphones do have a fantastic display that looks stunning from every angle they're not dull they're very vibrant the s21 is sharp and clear and highly color accurate the iphone is also sharp and clear as well also offering exceptional color accuracy overall quality wise i cannot recommend one over the other as they both look very clean and crispy however the s21 ultra does have a special feature that sets it apart so if i go to my display and if i go over here what we have is we have the ability to use 120 hertz display refresh rate which is going to allow for super smooth scrolling so as i scroll in this device it simply feels smoother than the iphone period in fact if you use this for a couple minutes and if you come back over here you're actually going to feel as if this one stutters a little bit so we do have that super smooth scrolling thanks to the motion smoothness option at 120 hertz this phone is stuck at a 60 hertz refresh rate and of course the phone does have a slightly larger screen that might be a benefit for some people but it's not a huge difference 6.7 6 6.8 but the fact that this does not have a huge notch makes it a more immersive experience when you're watching media so in this category the s21 has a lead it's got a 120 hertz option and a larger display now let's move on and talk about the software all right, so with the software, it is really a matter of preference. This one over here is a much more customizable experience. I can just pinch on the screen. I get all these menus. I can go to wallpapers. Uh, I can have live lock screen video wallpapers, as you can see, if I want, okay? I can go to my explore more wallpapers. I can download them. I can go to themes and download actual themes to just make my phone look so much different than any other phone just like that one right over here one example okay i have icon packs i have always on displays this thing is just way more customizable i pinch the screen i go to the settings i can do all kinds of modifications to my actual home screen with the iphone you got app icons and then you have the ability to add widgets and of course this phone also has uh, the ability to add widgets as well okay so that's one thing that is common here. But still, Android is way ahead when it comes to customizing your phone. So iOS is a more limited system. However, it does feel polished. And the biggest thing is it does have a superior app ecosystem, uh, in my opinion. So when you go to the App Store and you download applications, uh, the applications you end up, end up finding on the iOS system are often better optimized and better polished than their counterparts on Android, especially when it comes to gaming. If you are a heavy duty mobile gamer, I think personally you are gonna enjoy the iPhone more. Of course, not everybody's a gamer, so that's gonna depend on you. But that's what this is all about. You have an open-ended customizable experience versus a more closed-ended app driven experience which one to choose remains with the end user you have refined simplicity and customizable complexity but it's not over yet the s21 does have a hidden weapon that the iphone can only dream about and that's going to be the s pen tool that you can now buy as a separate accessory for the s21 ultra this thing is going to cost you 40 dollars now this is going to be a multi-functional tool you can navigate the phone with the s pen you have access to a bunch of unique functions with the S Pen. And of course, the big thing is you can use the S Pen to sketch and draw with precision. 
So basically, if I have the patience and skill, I can easily draw a masterpiece with the S Pen. It is super precise, almost feels like a real pen and a paper. So if you want that kind of functionality, for sure you want to tilt towards the S21 Ultra. The S Pen is a powerful productivity and artistic tool. So anyway, let's move on and talk about the camera. All right, so the S21 has four cameras on the rear. We have four cameras and the iPhone actually has three cameras on the rear. Both cameras do have a front facing camera. So this one has five total cameras and this one has four total cameras. When it comes to the front cameras, either smartphone will deliver if your objective is to simply take selfies or do video conferencing. Now on the rear, the S21 Ultra has the following setup. We have two telephoto cameras. Number one, number two. Then we have a 12 megapixel super wide angle camera right here. And then we have a 108 megapixel main camera. With the iPhone, we have three cameras. They're all 12 megapixels. We have a telephoto, a super wide, and a wide. Now, when we dive into the particulars, the S21 Ultra is more capable. The main camera is a 108 megapixel camera with an upgraded sensor that takes superb photos with rich detail. The iPhone's 12 megapixel main camera is also a masterclass camera, yet it does fall slightly behind in bottom line quality. Now, when it comes to telephoto, the Galaxy S21 is more capable. This phone can do 100 times hybrid zoom and 10 times optical zoom. This guy right here can only do 10 times hybrid zoom and two times optical zoom. So the S21 has the better zoom camera. Just something to keep in mind. When it comes to video, both smartphones offer 4K recording or 1080p recording, 30 or 60 frames per second. And both phones offer excellent video stabilization to take steady video with minimum shake or blur. Now S21 does have some extra capabilities in video as well. It does have the option to record at 8K at 24 frames per second. The iPhone can only go up to 4K at 60 frames per second, but this one can go all the way up to 8K recording at 24, something to keep in mind. So as a total package, both smartphones offer an excellent job of providing the user with a solid multi-camera setup. For the average consumer, either camera will yield great quality photos, delivering full satisfaction. However, the S21 Ultra is a more appealing package for people looking for more extreme options. Remember, powerful zooming capabilities and 8K video recording. Now let's move on and talk about the battery. In the battery department overall, you get a full day of battery life with medium to heavy use on both smartphones. However, in my initial tests, the iPhone did yield almost one hours of extra battery life so it does have a slight lead in battery life. Both the iPhone and the S21 offer wireless charging, which is great. S21 has faster wired charging at 25 watts. And additionally, S21 offers wireless power share, which allows you to charge other smartphones on the back of your phone or even charge your earbuds or other compatible accessories right on the back of your S21, a feature that the iPhone does not have. So the S20 Plus does have a lead in the battery features department. All right, so the S21 Ultra has a fingerprint sensor. Okay, so let me just turn this off, double tap it, logs right in, works perfectly. This is the way I like it. This one here has a face ID system. It also works perfectly. Just turn it off. I'm gonna just take a look at it. Boom, unlocks. Both of them are super secure, work super fast. It's just gonna be a matter of preference. Do you want Face ID or do you want a fingerprint sensor that's built under display? It's gonna be invisible as opposed to a highly visible Face ID system. So I would give the S21 extra points for being more 
futuristic. So we have talked about everything. Let's move on and talk about a conclusion. Let's see, based on everything we talked about, which phone is better. So both phones start at $1,200 and they both get you 128 gigabytes of base storage for the price. To understand which phone gives you more for the money, let's quickly list the advantages of the S21 Ultra over the iPhone 12 Pro Max and then we'll do it the other way around. So the S21 Ultra offers 120 hertz refresh rate. S21 Ultra does have faster charging and it has the wireless power share feature. With the S21 Ultra for an additional $40, you can buy the S Pen accessory, which allows you to add some powerful functionality to the phone. S21 Ultra also has a more aggressive camera setup with extreme options like 8K recording and 100 times hybrid zoom. And finally, this is a little bit subjective, but I do think the S21 Ultra has a better design. And that's it. Those are the advantages S21 has. On the flip side, the iPhone only has one advantage that is superior to the S21 Ultra. It does have a faster processor. Now, otherwise, both phones have a top-notch build quality, great cameras, crisp and bright screens, water resistance, wireless charging, and many other flagship features. However, looking at all the metrics and seeing that the S21 Ultra has more features over the iPhone, we have to conclude that the S21 Ultra is the better smartphone for the same $1,200 price tag. So definitely the S21 Ultra is the winner in a side-by-side -side comparison, but it is important to note that the iPhone 12 Pro Max is also a top tier phone, but simply has less to offer for the same amount of money. So that brings us to the end of this video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below and let me know. And for now guys, have a fantastic day, all right? Do let me know down below which phone you chose and why.